Tom Elliott, we're standing in the Great Hall at Parliament Building Stormont and we're surrounded by statues of great unionist leaders. Lord Craig Avon behind us, Sir Edward Carson out front. If you become the next Ulster unionist leader, what is your vision? I want to see a, a union that where people are content who, who live in it, where they have a settled mindset uh, to live in the union, to work in the union and to be of beneficial use to the union. And I think what we need to do is ensure that those people have that settled mindset. I want to, to ensure that uh, the, the people will be comfortable with a union where, whereby they can progress their ideas, they can progress their business opportunities and actually economically and socially uh, the union is vitally important and is an imperative for Northern Ireland at this time. Is the biggest threat to the Union still Irish nationalism? There is still clearly a huge threat from Irish republicanism and Irish nationalism to the Union, particularly from Northern Ireland. But there are other threats now to the Union. We have Scottish nationalists, we have Welsh nationalists, we have little Ulster nationalists even, who actually prefer to, to live in a little Northern Ireland. But we, we must be absolutely clear, we as Unionists want to remain as part of the United Kingdom and at this time that is imperative. <laughs>